Hi, my name is John Alzheimer, and I am a credit card expert who contributes to CreditCardInsider.com. Today's question is this, what's the difference between credit card debt and student loan debt? All right, very good question. There's a lot of meat on that bone, so let's jump right into it. First off, credit card debt is what's referred to as revolving debt, meaning that you can actually carry a balance from month to month on purchases or charges you've made the prior month or prior months. There is no requirement to pay the balance in full every single month. You can make a minimum payment or you can make a payment larger than the minimum. You can pay it off in full every single month. Um, credit cards report to the credit card issuers report to the credit reporting agencies and so there is going to be an influence of how you manage that card on your credit reports and your credit scores. In other words, if you're making the payment on time, you're keeping the balance low relative to the credit limit. These are all things that are actually very helpful for your credit scores. Credit card debt tends to be ex fairly expensive if you do choose to carry it from month to month, the process called revolving. Um, the average interest rate on a general use credit card like your Visas, your MasterCards, your Amexes, and your Discovers is somewhere around 15 to 16 percent depending on who you believe. Um, the interest rate on credit cards can be as low as zero percent if you get a one of those introductory balance transfer offers or interest rates can be very very high. High 20s for example if you have retail store credit cards or subprime credit cards. Student loan debt, uh, one last thing on credit card debt, the interest is not tax deductible. Student loan debt, the interest in many cases, is tax deductible. Student loan debt is what's referred to as installment debt, meaning that you have a balance and you have a fixed payment for a fixed number of months. And so you may, you may make a $95 payment for the next 120 months and that will exhaust the balance and reduce it to zero. Student loan debt, or, and, and frankly all other installment debt, is almost completely benign to your credit scores, meaning that it's not going to have much of a positive or a negative influence even when you incur it and even when you pay it down and finally even when you pay it off. Um, that's assuming that you're actually paying it and you're not going into the fault and loading up your credit report with late payments. Um, as far as the statute of limitations for how long derogatory revolving debt versus installment debt can remain on a credit report, uh, it's, it's always going to be seven years, seven years from the date that the late payment or the default occurred, except for, there's one exception, federally guaranteed student loans. If, federal, if you have a federally guaranteed student loan that goes into default, then the credit reporting agencies have no legal obligation to remove it from your credit reports until you actually pay it. So in some scenarios, you could have defaulted student debt on your credit report forever. And unfortunately, that's serious because that could also mean that you're going to forego other benefits. They can, the government can take tax returns from you. You can forego the various VA um, and FHA types of options for, for borrowing. Um, so it's a bad deal if you default on student loans. And of course, you have the, 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 um, the garden variety impact to your credit scores like lower, lower credit scores and collection activities from third party debt collectors. So it's very important to not only pay them on time, but pay everything on time because in the student loan world, the problems can be amplified. If you have any other questions pertaining to credit or other financial topics, then please submit them to creditcardinsider.com or in the comments section below. Thanks for your time. Have a great day.